Hey, what is up, guys? It is Zaris HD, and welcome back to the Movie Studios part number two. So in the last episode, we actually started this building structure that's actually on fire, and I did a little bit of work off camera, as you can see, just by adding a little bit of detail down the bottom here with more fire and whatnot. And I added in my fire engines. Now, these fire engines are tutorials of mine that you can go and check. They will be in the description down below. And we actually put a layer of water what I've also gone and done is I've gone and changed the size of the windows and I actually put the entrance in right here. So when you come in, it's just like all black with bedrock and whatnot at the back here, just to give that black finish, just to amplify the flames that little bit more. I also added some texture here as you go up and some buttons all the way up to the top. And I also made the doorway sort of shape like that, which consists of just a sort of normal block two corner stairs, full block, and the corner stairs right across, and then back down again. And I just made the windows just that little bit wider each side, just to make sure that it uh, it fits the sort of part. Now also I did a little bit of work off camera with the uh, stairs. This is uh, usable, so if you, if you jump up, you can climb up, and then you can come through each door and whatnot. And it comes up. You can't fall off the edge because the barriers, obviously. And there you go, starting to put the floors in as well. Obviously, these rooms are going to be completely empty for movie purposes. You can put the flooring in there and whatnot. And that goes all the way to the roof as well. So if you really wanted to put a flooring up here, you could do like a camera up top to have a zoom down shot. It's up to you. So on this episode, guys, that we're going to jump straight into is we're going to build another building right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Or should we build it here? Um, either way, we're going to build another building. Now, this uh, fire scene episode might actually bleed into a fourth episode. But we're going to try and avoid that. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab some, uh, going to grab some stone. And I'm going to also grab another block today, which is the sort of like a sandstone. Let's have a look what color sandstones this is. That's the checkered one. Uh, let's have a look at smooth sandstone. Yeah, we're going to use that block. Let's bugger this one off because I don't need that. The other one. Yep. Let's put these here. So we're going to use block of stone. We're going to use the sandstone. And we might even go as far as using a gray, a light gray. Let's have a look. Light gray? No, we're going to use a white. Let's just use a white. Let's have a look what the white looks like. Yeah, that will work. Well, let's just wing it. I reckon we should just wing it. Okay, so in every apartment building, you've got to have like an alleyway, okay? So we're going to put an alleyway. I'm just going to mark this out really quickly because usually you have like, I don't know, like rubbish bins and all that sort of crap on the alleyway here. And uh, what can we do? What we can do, if we do it really quickly, is we can go over the back here. And let's just bring up a. Let's bring up a green screen. So we'll just mark that there. We'll do a bit of world edit. Quickly get a green screen happening. Uh, let's see. We'll put it to about... Let's do it right up. Put it to about there. And that is 35.5. So we've got a nice green screen there. So now what we can do... Is we can chop away... From here... To here, say. All right. Oh. We'll bring up the green screen just that little bit more. Okay, so we've got a green screen, and uh, what we can do in here is connect all this through, just like that, and. We need to put up a, like a fence, like a wire fence and whatnot. So I'm just going to get some cobwebs as well. And we're just going to just 
run this up. So when you put the green screen on and connect it all, it looks like you can actually jump the fence and you can put like a nice picture at the back if you really wanted to. Um, and you can put like, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? You know, at the end of our alleyway, it leads into the next apartment on the other side and you can green screen this out. We could do something like that. We'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. Let's, let's just get this started now. So we'll just peg this out really quickly, like we did with the last one. And uh, let's bring that across. We're going to put some bay windows on this one. Yeah, we'll do about that big. We'll do a nice big apartment here. We might do a double apartment. And we'll run that through. I think this one will have two doorways, guys. Uh, let's we'll put the doorway there, say, and we'll put another one down here, so it'll have like a double apartment. Got your little alleyway there, we can we'll put a rubbish bin, fire hatch, escape route. Yeah, this will, okay, this will do good. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my stone, and uh, I'm just going to pile that on here. Just as the outline real quick. I just wish you guys could actually see inside my mind and see what this is going to look like. This is going to look freaking amazing. All right. So there's our base. And now we're going to grab our smooth sandstone. And pretty much like the first episode we did, we're just going to pretty much just layer this out really quickly. And I just need two layers of the sandstone so we can actually work out where the bay window is going to be because we're going to bay window all the way up to the top. Um, yeah, we need a doorway chop there. We'll just chop that one up there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven from the edge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's do that. And don't worry about the colors. This is just me and my working out here. Uh, let's see. Now. Let's chop out one here as well. Yeah, and we'll chop out one here. Beautiful. Okay, this is going to work out really well. Really, really well. I'm going to bring this up one more time. Don't worry about the sides. We'll get back to that very shortly. And we'll whack that here, bring that right across. Okay, so we got that. Now we're going to work on a bay window sort of thing. So, <sighs> bay window, bay window, bay window. All right. Change of plan again. Got to weigh the love the way the uh, Zarius HD thinks here. Sets it up and then disrupts it all again. Beautiful. And close this off right here. Bay windows, bay windows. Right, so we're going to bring this out. See, bring the bay window out from there. I think we'll bring it out by three. And what are we? What are we from the edge? Two. Two from the edge. So we'll do two from the edge again. One, two, three. Back in again. How does that look? Maybe we can even do a third. And let's see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we're one off. Maybe we need to move this over by one. Let's try that. Let's do that. Let's move it over by one. So we can get all symmetrical. Okay. Now that we've got that, bring that back over. That to there, move that over, pull that to there. One, two, three, four. Have a nice big one in the middle. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. We're still, still wonky there. Maybe we can do a 
nice big one in the middle. Yeah, we'll do a nice center piece going up. Okay, so we've got that. And we'll just mark out the windows here. I'm not the best for doing bay windows, guys. But as we know, it's just a movie set. We'll adjust this as we go along. And that can go up as well. Maybe we can do something with stone. Like that, maybe. Yeah, we'll do something like that. Why? Because we can. Uh, let's just bring that up. Okay, so I've got an idea what we're going to do. I'm just going to do this for a minute. Just like that. I'm going to set it up like that. And I'm just going to use some gray blocks. that yes yeah, so that looks pretty cool I am happy with that bring that up and over filter that in and bring that up fill it in there okay so we've sort of got some sort of shape happening uh, yeah okay beautiful Okay, so what we're going to do here is pretty much, uh, let's see, we need to grab some light gray stain paints, pop them there, like that, beautiful, do the same again, one, two, three, four, five, do that and that, make it come down just a little bit. And the same again. One, two, three. Connect and connect. Just run that on the top. Run that on the top here. And the same again. There, 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 and there. Okay, so we pretty much got that there. Um, but what we need to do is move it up. That all the way to here, say slash slash move five up. That's better. That is better. It gives us plenty of room down the bottom to put some weird ass windows and dig out our entry, which will be here. And here. We'll make that into an arch, arch doorway. So now we just filter this down. One, two, here. Just like that. Dig out a nice doorway. Too keen on that either. Bugger it. We'll just do a normal one like we did on the other side. So it makes it look like apartment blocks and stuff. So we've got to grab our stairs, run them in, just like that. No, actually, run some wire coming through here and there as well. Got apartments a bit higher than the other side, which is good. Which is good. I'm liking that. And maybe we can grab some stairs actually and just change this up a bit. Let's take that out.
just like that. I can put a doorway. One, two, three. tall, really high, same again, which is three from the right, one, two, three, one, two, and up. Do it like that, and we can even do something like that. So three, one, two, three, four. So as you see, our building now is starting to pretty much take form. Take out those as well, so we can match up with the grey. Just pop these in. And this this grey is not necessarily needed. You don't need to do this. I'm just going to do it just to give you a basic idea. Obviously, there's people out there build buildings better than that, but um, and we'll grab this and we'll just dig out three here maybe put that there for a little bit of detail yeah do that there we go and uh i don't know do things like that maybe or we could do it like that i don't know whatever whatever floats your boat guys it's very that's up to you guys it's just a bit of an idea and from here, what we can do is we can actually change the glass. Now, if I change the glass in this one, I'm going to do it a dark gray. And I'm just going to whack that in there. Something completely different. And you can do stained glass windows if you wanted to. Black. Yeah, that works. That works. I'll just stick with that. Quit when I'm ahead, Z. Let's just start piling it up. Beautiful. And then we've got the lighter glass. Grey glass down here as well. Come over here. Beautiful, beautiful. I am loving it. Look at that. So we've got the grey glass to match with the grey bricks. And then we just got to pile this up even further. So, take off the corner ones. We don't need the grey there. Just bring that up, over, up, up, over. And I think that'll be quite sufficient in height. Yeah. This would be like the, uh, the posh apartment, maybe. Or a bit more expensive than that one. Up, up, over. Up, up, over, up, up, over. Up, over, up, up, over. And just filter that in as well. Once you get the actual basic idea of the front uh, like this, it's easy then to actually work out you know, pretty much what you're doing. You know, I'm not too keen on the solid gray, so I'll probably adjust that off camera into something a lot better. Maybe we'll just keep it like the front. Because I'm not too keen on this. I don't like it at all. Alright, so we got that. And we've got to work out the apartment flooring and height. So we'll put that there maybe. Uh, that there. And there. So if that's the window, maybe our flooring can be a modern apartment maybe. We can do a modern apartment where the flooring is actually the window as well. I think that would work out really well. So if we get the flooring right across here so we can get the measurements. Spike that there. And put a base on this part here. We can do some trusty world edit now. Grab our wand. Grab it from there. All the way over to the side. We've highlighted all of that, and let's go. Oh, no, we don't want to do that. 
Have a look at this block here. All right, we've copied that, and I think come up to the block. Say there. There we go. So we're starting to get the actual pattern again. So once again, we'll put a block here. Beautiful. Now there's our apartments going up as well. Now I think what we might do is make this one a little bit shorter than the other one. So I think I might just leave it there. Okay. And uh, as I said, these gray strips I don't like. I mean, it might look okay to some, but for me, I'm not too crash hot and keen. Uh, so, what I'm going to do here is change it as we speak. So, grab that. Bring that back. So, there. Grab that. And the block is 24.2. And I can put another one of those stairs on the other side. So what I might just do is just copy and paste over there. Um, yeah, so we don't need to make this one on fire. So this is just pretty much basically a shell. Let's just grab that. Drop that back down to here. All right, let's have a look. Now we've got our basic shape on the outside. We can bring that up again. I think we'll bring that up again. And uh, yeah, I don't like those that gray. It looks so pox. Um, in here, we're going to do a little bit of detail. I mean, you can change the front of this. It's it's up to you. This is just a basic you know idea of the fire set. But we need uh, trash cans and whatnot. I usually love doing my dumper bins, so I'm just going to put like a dumper bin here, two, three, four, five, usually for the dumpsters that have come in. Uh, let's just grab the stuff that I usually use, there's the buttons, one right there, we can use, actually, let's make this smaller, let's just do a dumper bin like that. Very easy. Uh, let's see. Use signs and use a bit of grey carpet. So, signs along the bottom where the truck comes in. And if you want to add the dump truck as well, feel free. I've got a dump truck tutorial that you can put in there. Corrales loved it. So, it must be, uh, must be pretty good. So just whack that in. Oh shit. Just whack that in here. And we could also even, I don't know, a little bit of added extra detail here is just grab some yellow stained clay. Just whack that in there, maybe. Lovely jubbly. I'm happy with that. This. Can be removed now since we've got the basic idea just like that. And there's something else as well because sometimes apartments like this have opened underneath. Which, if I get a stone. Uh, where are we? Stone slabs. We can actually do things like. Things like that. Uh, let's see two, leave a two space gap, three, let's do that one, we'll do that, see what I'm saying, doesn't it look good, it looks good, oh yes it does, let's fill all this crap in, because we don't need that, and then we'll leave the two space gap, is it two space gap, two space gap by two, two space gap, one, two, 
two space gap. One, two, three, two, four. Just like that. And already you can see it's got shape, it's got style, it's something completely different than the other one. And then we'll just do the same again on the inside here. We'll just lay a flooring, block it all off with green screen maybe. And we could actually add details in maybe. No. Weird ass shapes like that, just separating them. This in the other hand is going to go, maybe we can do something completely different and add a different kind of texture. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'll, uh, oh, I forgot. I keep forgetting I'm using my texture pack. I've got certain color bricks. Proper bricks. I'm going to do this off camera. All right, just to get an idea of what we're doing. Uh, and I think what I might do is I'll make make this one bit higher but all we do is just bring up the windows like that and we can even put pelmets on these now if you don't know what a pelmet is pelmet is pretty much just a like a slab uh, that's gonna block it all off so we can do something like that put like a pelmet over the edge so like a roof into it Okay, so we can put helmets right across here, and as you see, it sort of look, adds a bit more detail to it. I'm getting a bit tongue-tied, guys. I feel like I'm going to sneeze, so I do apologize. Uh, actually, let's change that up whilst we're here. Take this off, and grab the stairs, grab the stairs, stairs, there we go. Bring them around, just like that. Oh, look at that, guys. Look at that. That is way better. And it fits in perfectly. Look at that. Oh, that's maze balls right there. Let's do the same again. So, grab our stair upside down. Filter that through. Beautiful. I'm happy with that. We'll do that. I'll do that on on uh, off camera. Look at that. So we've got our little bay windows. Not really bay windows. I mean, we could bring them out. But, uh, yeah. Maybe we'll do bay windows on the other one that actually really come out into a circle. And we'll circle out the bottom part before we do the, the building. But I think what I might do, guys, is I might leave it on that episode. I'll do a bit more off camera like I did with this one. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe I might go for five episodes on this so I can show you the full detail and can knock off a complete set each time. But as you see, just standing here, it's coming along nicely, guys. I'm loving it. And these movie sets that I'm going to give you are going to be so much detail. And I have to let you guys know, and I'm sorry to do this right now, I'm doing these in little sections because eventually when each set is complete and that one's complete and the next one's complete i'm going to be moving them into certain areas and i'm going to be building paths and, and all that sort of stuff so i'm just building them in block sections at the moment uh, i think it's just going to be a lot easier for everyone instead of getting confused with bushes and trees and stuff because that will all come later on but anyway guys i'm going to love you and leave you now i hope you're excited about this it's looking really good now uh i think i need to make that bit of an adjustment here before we do go though just bring that across a bit more and add another cobweb there we go so we've got an alleyway here we've got another building on the way we've got this one's on fire poor souls who have ever died in there fire trucks it's all going to happen police cars ambulance is going to come maybe i'll put a helicopter in as well for news news uh, helicopter this is all going to be like news crews and uh you know actors vans and stuff but yeah guys look at it gotta love it love it anyway guys thank you so much for watching if you like this video be sure to high five that like button place a comment down below with your awesome ideas mind you and i shall see you on episode number three of this movie set scene thanks guys Come on!